Hello, my name is Johan Falk. I'm a math and physics teacher in Stockholm, Sweden. This is another video where I show you spreadsheet actions, how to use it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install new plugins for spreadsheet actions and how to uh, activate them. So, uh, if you go to the instructions tab or the instruction sheet, you'll find a link to a place to get more plugins. If we follow this, link you end up on a place called github which is a great place for hosting code and i'm going to show you the email plugin for spreadsheet actions so here is uh, well, co the code for spreadsheet actions you can click on any of these files and you get to see the content of it uh, kind of nice in itself but we're interested in the emailing plugin so i'm going into email here and there's a file called mail from template Dot .gs. The gs is Google script. If I click on this, I see the code required for this uh, plugin. I'm going to get this in raw format because that's much easier to copy paste. Okay, going back to the spreadsheet, I'll have to go into the, uh, uh, the code editor for the spreadsheet. So I go into tools. In English, this is called cool tools. In Swedish, it's called Verktyg. And you go into the script editor in Swedish. And you'll see here that we have we have already tick 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 yep three script files here SA that's spreadsheet actions something called basics that's a plugin and something called tests that's a that's a plugin too I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna create a new file here archive no file new script file and I'm going to call this, doesn't really matter what I call it, but I'm going to call it the same thing as the uh, plugin. And it's called mail from template. Mail from template. I'm just copying this. Okay, back to the coding environment. Mail from template. Okay. Right. And here in the code, well, the code for in this file, I'm just going to replace it with everything in this plugin. So I'm, click here, I'm clicking here. And Control A or uh, Command A on a Mac to mark everything, select everything, and then copy. Going here, and I'm gonna paste like this. And a blank line at the end is preferred if you like coding. And I'm gonna save this by clicking on the floppy disk, which is kind of interesting. Uh, and I go back here. Now I have installed a new plugin. Wow. I'm just going to enable it somehow. I could just reload the page and the spreadsheet will notice that it's here. But another way is to go to the setup here. Spreadsheet actions setup. And oh, and it requires authorization to run because now I can send email and uh, the uh, I'll have to authorize this. Okay. So I'm going to be able to view uh, documents in Drive and send emails in my name. Okay. Fine. Approve. And then we have here the setup. Now I can turn on and off menu uh, um, items in the menu here. I have yeah. I this option here is not yet recognized by spreadsheet action. So I'm going to deselect this, and I'm going to select it again. Kind of interesting. Now I have as a bulk action send email based on document template. This is how to install new um, plugins in uh, spreadsheet actions. So you find the spreadsheet code, for example, on GitHub following uh, this link here. And you go into the coding environment for the spreadsheet by following tools, script editor. And you start a new file, uh, file new script file. And you just paste the plugin code uh, into to the file and save, reload the page, or run the setup and turn on and off menu settings, and, and it will appear. Wonderful. Okay, I'll see you in another video. There, I'm going to show you, I don't know, something. Bye.